The driver is inattentive for just a moment and already the vehicle has veered out of the lane. That can have fatal consequences. So that it doesn't come to that, Mercedes-Benz has developed the Telligent Lane Assist. The Telligent Lane Assist is a lane recognition system available as an optional extra. If the driver inadvertently leaves the lane, the system warns him. It gives an acoustic signal through the radio loudspeakers, the so-called vibrating needle. The driver can then react immediately with a steering maneuver. The system functions due to the lane assist camera, which is attached to the windshield. It's always wide awake and constantly conveys the current position of the vehicle in the lane. Then the software evaluates the material. The lane assist was developed for trips on motorways and highways. Therefore, the system only engages from a speed of 60 km per hour. If the vehicle is driving slower than 60 km an hour, no warning is given. So that the lane assist can work optimally, the carriageway markings must be clearly recognizable. But that's not the case everywhere. Sometimes the carriage markings are worn off or dirty. Then the camera cannot recognize the markings clearly and gives no warning. If there are white and yellow markings on a lane, as for example where construction is taking place, it's not possible for the camera to judge which are the valid markings, because the camera cannot recognize the yellow markings. In this case, it warns when the driver drives over the invalid white markings. When the driver operates the turn signal and then changes the lane, no warning signal is given because the system assumes that the lane change was intended. Also, no warning is given when the driver brakes. So that the lane keeping assist can support the driver effectively, the camera behind the windshield must be correctly fitted and parameterized. This way, any geometric errors can be corrected and it's ensured that the camera appraises the road situation correctly. For example, if there's a lane assist camera installed when you exchange a windshield, you'll need to take care of these steps in the workshop. For a windshield exchange, you must first remove the lane assist camera. Unclip the camera from the holder using a suitable tool. Then separate the plug connector and remove the rubber collar. Because the holder is stuck to the windshield, this is not removed, but disposed of together with the defective windshield. With the installation, attach a new holder. For the Actros, there are two different types of holder, therefore check which one is installed in your vehicle. In this case, it's a holder with an angle of 4 degrees. There is also a holder with 0 degrees. To illustrate, you see here to the left of the picture a holder with a 0 degree angle and to the right, a holder with a 4 degree angle. After the windshield is exchanged, the first step is to fit the new holder onto the windshield. This installation fixture helps you to position the holder correctly. Now attach the holder onto the windshield. Make sure that the check slots of the installation fixture are flush with the outside edges of the recess. Once the holder is fastened, you can remove the installation fixture. Then install the rubber collar. Then connect the plug connector and insert the camera into the holder. So that the camera functions correctly again, it must be parameterized using the star diagnosis. In the menu Quick Test Routine, select Lane Assist. And now check whether you can answer yes to one or more of the questions. 
That's the case with us because we renewed the windshield. In the height of the camera menu, you're requested to measure the height of the lane assist camera. However, before you begin with the measurement, bring the vehicle to driving level. Only this way can you achieve a correct measurement result. Once the vehicle is at driving level, you can begin with the measurement. For a correct result, measure the distance from the ground to the center of the camera lens. Here, once more for clarification. We measure a value of 242 centimeters. Now enter the result into the star diagnosis. In the height of the camera menu, you're now asked whether the parameter value is to be overwritten with the value measured at the vehicle. We confirm with F3. In the next step, you're asked whether a holder with a 4 degree angle was installed. We remember that in our case, a 4 degree angle holder was installed. Therefore, we confirm with F3. Now you're asked again whether you want to select a holder with a 4 degree angle. We confirm this question also with F3. Now the parameterization of the camera is implemented. For the next step, start the automatic data transfer to the control unit. The parameters of the lane assist control unit were successfully transferred to the central data memory. Now the lane assist camera should function again perfectly. But you'll only know this for certain with a test run. For this, a new test mode was especially developed. This makes it possible to test the lane assist camera while driving at a speed of less than 60 km per hour. Activate the test mode by switching on the ignition and pressing the lane assist button several times. You'll know that the test mode is activated by a cracking noise through the loudspeakers. Additionally, the check light goes on in the instrument cluster. Now take a test run. Thanks to the new test mode, you don't have to drive on a highway or motorway. And if you drive over a road marking, a clear needle vibration should be heard. That's clearly the case with us. The lane assist is working and can contribute once again to greater road safety.